Hello, I'm Paul Murray Kane, a TV journalist and presenter. During the past year, there's been a lot of media coverage about the fact that ordinary light bulbs, that's the traditional incandescent types, are no longer going to be on sale in the UK. It's being portrayed as a government move which is widely unpopular and in some cases almost an infringement of civil liberties. Well, against this media frenzy, it's been pretty difficult to get to the real facts about the situation. Recently, I spoke to Adrian Kitching, who's sales director of Mega Man UK, about this. Mega Man is one of the world's largest manufacturers of the new low energy light bulbs everyone is talking about, so he's very well placed to explain why the current ban on incandescence has come about and how it will affect us all. Well, this isn't just a UK initiative, it's part of a U EU directive to um, save energy globally. Um, the UK is actually playing a major part in that and has actually taken a voluntary scheme to withdraw these lamps a year ahead of our European brothers and sisters. But they've generated a lot of public hostility towards this. It's been imposed on people. They're being forced to stop buying the bulbs that they always liked and trusted. Don't you admit that at, at best it's been badly handled? It's true to say that the education and the communication to the public could have been handled a little bit better, um, but there are many lamps available um, that offer us retrofit. The simple fact is that a, a traditional tungsten lamp that's 100 watts is creating an awful lot of heat. 95% of that energy is heat, which is wasted. But this also seems to have been po imposed by Brussels. Eurocrats have said, that's what you and Britain will do, and people just will not follow that sort of diktat. Um, the, the benefit of changing to low energy light sources benefits all of us. And if, in actual fact, if three people in every, if three lamps were put into every single house in the UK, we'd save enough energy to run all the street lighting nationwide for free. So small changes can make a big impact on the market. A lot is said about the fact that we need to do all of this and we've got to make all these changes and cope with all these un, uh, unfamiliar uh, lamps, if yeah. you like, because of global warming. Yeah. But uh, you, you will find scientists who will say that, well, it's not as straightforward as that. Uh, hasn't there been a lot of scaremongering behind this because vested interests want to see these bulbs introduced? That's true. There has been a lot of media speculation and information um, about the Ban the Bulb campaign and we would simply really divert to the scientific fact of the matter that global warming is present and we as a country and as a world need to do something about that. Um, so this is one small part of that. There are other renewable technologies that are out there that are available that helped contribute to that even further.